Hi there, I'm Kjetil from Solo, and um, I'd like to, to, to talk so, to talk a bit about um, two of our products, our dark products, uh, our porter, and our imperial stout. Most people, or a lot of people anyway, are very reserved with regards to black beers or dark beers. They think it's uh, uh, somewhat uh, filling or too strong, or they have lots of, of strange ideas about it. And I would like to talk a little bit about the malts we use in these beers, because after all, it's no mystery. It's pretty straightforward. The thing which makes a dark beer uh, dark is dark malts. Uh, here you see light malts as pale ale malt, and this is dark malts. And the dark malts is pretty much uh, has had the same treatment as your coffee, coffee beans, which you use for coffee. It's dark because it's been roasted on high heat. So let's uh, talk about uh, Basquianos first, our porter. Uh, when we start making a beer, we start with our pale ale malt. This, this is what you have in a glass right now. Pale ale malt is the base of the beer. Then we add some other ingredients, like we like wheat a lot. This is wheat malt. And to get the good malty structure, we add some Munich malt. And uh, to give it a little bit more of, shall we say, mouthfeel, a little bit of sweetness, we add some crystal malt. And here comes the dark malts. First, chocolate malt then some light chocolate malt, followed by black malt, which is like really like ashes, it's very burnt. This is the combination of malts, which results in our porter. Can we call this porter demystified? So it's time to talk about uh, our Imperial Stout. Talk. <clears throat> My Greek is not so good. <laughs> Tos Scottivi. And um, it's a much, much more complex beer than the Porter. First of all, it's stronger, but as you can see already in the glass to start with, it has less base malt because here it's all about a lot of specialty malts. I don't think you'll be surprised when I show up with, um, with a wheat malt again. As I say, we really like wheat in, in our beers. When you drink a, a solo, it's very likely that you're drinking a beer with some wheat. But we like other grains as well. Like, what is this? You know what? Oat, it's oats, rolled oats. Same kind of oats as you would use in your, uh, in your uh, breakfast porridge, you know? And there we go. Why do we put this in? Because it has a very special flavor, which is very nice in stouts. But of course, we need some crystal molds here as well for some increased mouthfeel. There we are. And uh, remember the Munich malt? Well, here we are again with more Munich malt in this one. All this to create the big malt structure, the big, sweet mouth, rich mouthfeel. And we have another Munich-like malt, it's called Melanoidin malt. And um, if I should explain Melanoidin malt, I think I would like to say that it's like um, Munich on steroids, like a very powerful Munich malt. Again, we're into the, the chocolate malt, and um, it's quite a lot of it, actually, in this one. It's powerful stuff, you know? And we have light chocolate malt with a more delicate roundness to it, not so harsh. And um, if you remember well, we had black malts in the porter. In a stout, we don't use black malts, but we use roasted barley. So this is unmalted barley, which has been roasted, and this is dark, seriously dark. So here you see the structure of our Imperial Stout. It's really a complex combination of different malts with different characteristics. And altogether, it becomes this rich, almost chewy, thick, wonderful brew. We are very proud of it. I hope you like it too. But of course, all this was very clinical. What uh, the real enjoyment of beer is, is of course about drinking it and enjoying it. And this is a nice porter. Look at that head. Ah. Oh, doesn't it make you thirsty? <laughs>